Wow, this looks like it's going to be a monster phone based upon the specs that are coming out. It's just passed the uh, Japanese certification uh, and uh, it looks like it's going to come in three different flavors as well. Uh, so not just one uh, handset and uh, we're getting some really nice specs here uh, such as the 5.2 inch QHD display which is uh, same as the Note 4 and Nexus 6 uh, 64 bit uh, processor with uh, a Snapdragon 810 and 4 gigs of RAM wow that's just like incredibly powerful uh, more powerful than some laptops uh, and uh, it's uh, coming with Lollipop as well uh, but the 20.7 megapixel camera uh, I was thinking probably would they would have improved on that uh, with the enhanced capabilities of the Snapdragon 810. Uh, so hopefully they, you know, it'll come with uh, probably a better version because uh, Sony does like to release uh, multiple iterations of its flagship every year, and uh, it would be nice to see like a, a 40 megapixel camera or something insane like that. Uh, but uh, also we have uh, like uh, a smaller Z4 compact as well uh, which is going to come with a 4.7 inch screen uh, as well as a bigger Xperia Z4 Ultra uh, which is going to come with a 6.4 inch display uh, which I think personally is just like uh, a bit too much, a bit ridiculous but I do like the sound of this Z4 compact uh, and uh, it would have been nice if they'd have made it 4.9 inches, uh, which uh, I think uh, you know it's still keep it very compact, but just make it so it's got very small bezels. But uh, certainly looking forward to the uh, Z4, and obviously it's going to be uh, uh, coming very soon uh, if it's uh, just been certified. Uh, in Japan and also you're getting uh, voice over LTE so that's going to be uh, quite interesting uh, I think one day maybe the traditional voice networks as we know it might be completely like supplanted with just like data based uh, voice communication so uh, yeah uh, so uh, certainly looking forward to the Xperia Z4 Hopefully they do uh, get rid of some of the flaps uh, for the next one. I know that they want to keep it waterproof, uh, but uh, I know there's there's some phones which are out there which are quite water resistant, but they don't have all those, like flaps all over them. Uh, so uh, it would be nice if they did get rid of them. But uh, certainly looking forward to this handset. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to post up my comment in regards to that. Uh, and I'll see you very shortly. Cheers.